We're here at MEF 19 in downtown Los Angeles, and it's officially, I guess, day one, although it feels like day two. Yeah, there were a few things going on yesterday. I was on a plane, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, it was, day one was kind of a, <laughs> kind of a slow build. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the slow burn. They had a they had a press conference yesterday evening, which we covered. Was talking about uh, SD WAN certification and sort of pushing the industry toward um, not just defining a service, but training people for it, getting ready for it. Right. Um, today they actually started the proper presentations. Uh, the proof of concept demonstrations opened up, which is what all the noise is around us right now. And um, there's some interesting things happening there. Um, a couple of things uh, uh, that I saw today. Uh, were, well, first of all, one of the proof of concept demonstrations, uh, a company called Amartis was using uh, blockchain to help with carrier, um, I don't know if I can explain this, carrier settlement, you know, sort of okay. getting carriers to uh, quote prices and settle transactions in real time for on-demand services. That all has to happen so quickly and you have to have APIs and standards to sort of work that out. And that's where kind of MEF was getting involved there was they were using a combination of standards and APIs okay. to get all these carriers to sort of um, talk to one another, but also agree upon, uh, you know, tr financial transactions and financial quotes. It's, it sounds it sounds really, I mean, it's a lot of this stuff at MEF sounds really esoteric and in the weeds, but it turns out to be pretty important when you envision this world where we're just going to order something up and it's going to be delivered, you know, across multiple countries or multiple right. carriers or whatever. Um, so you were out running around in the show today. What uh, what sort of things did you uh, run into? Yeah, they had some great speakers this morning. A lot of service providers. Um, Satya Parimi with Spectrum Enterprise gave a keynote and he talked about getting to network as a service and also just talking about how to meet um, enterprises changing demands. Um, he talked a little bit about moving from policy-based control to intent-based control huh. um, in the network. So okay. that was interesting. He said their the enterprises aren't quite at the intent-based stage, but it's um, sort of a I guess baby step <laughs> right. to get them there. That has to be kind of a nightmare for service providers too because it j just the whole thing of your customers are in the next couple of years are probably going to outpace you in technology. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, they're, they're, they're going to, because it's so being tech savvy and tech forward and all that, it's going to be so, such a competitive advantage right. that, you know, they're going to be asking for things that service providers are not sure they've built into the network yet. Right, that, and then that was a discussion that came up a lot as well as how to build the network to meet all those changing customer needs. Uh, Sterling Perrin, our friend over I at Heavy him. Reading, yeah. yeah, very smart guy, led a panel with, again, a lot of great service providers and um, they were talking about also why MEF standards are important for SD-WAN and other, also moving forward with other um, virtual services in the future. And I thought Sterling asked an interesting question. He said, well, could standards just make SD-WAN a commodity? Right. Are you all going to be delivering the same thing? How do you differentiate yourselves? And I think it was Bob Victor with Comcast Business said mm -hmm. that it's sort of like having a standard for milk. Like you want to make sure that you're not going to get sick off the milk that you're drinking. Right. Um, but you can still, I guess, differentiate on top with, I mean, he didn't get into this, but maybe building off that metaphor right. like almond milk and right. coconut milk. And <laughs> or skim, whole, whatever. Yeah. It's 2%. all safe milk, but you right. know you can have a little differentiation. So um, it sounds like they are looking at standards as a good foundation second, for their services. Second day in a row, we've had a food metaphor <laughs> for uh, <laughs> talking about MEF. So that, I think that's perfect. That's I mean, they're serving lunch, so know, clearly there's, there's it's on the brain. Serving lunch here yeah. as well, so we're, we're, we're smelling food. We're right. talking about food. It all makes sense. But you know, it, 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 I think it illustrates the point of what having service definitions and. Uh, de facto standards or or at least industry standards you know for everybody to agree yes we're going to call it this we're going to deliver it this way and mm -hmm. eventually this is how we'll bill for yeah. it and they also talked a little bit about i guess sort of playing nice in the sandbox with the cloud providers um, oh, yeah. and how to get them on board with standards i think that's going to be 
um, to use a Southernism, a tough road to hoe. <laughs> it will be, yeah. <laughs> to convince them that they need to adopt that as well. Yeah, one of the interviews I saw today with uh, Andrew Dugan of CenturyLink, um, he talked about how he thinks that cloud providers will eventually get on board, but he did note that right now, you know, they basically have APIs for their own cloud and for their own services, and all of them are specific to that particular cloud. So exactly. like they, to, so to interoperate with all of them for a service provider is actually quite a challenge. And if you're doing that plus other service providers as you're carrying a service to multiple clouds, mm -hmm. that gets really confusing. So there really is a, um, a, a need for these entities to agree upon APIs or at least a way to talk to one another at some point. Um, it, it seems like it'll be meth. Uh, you know, or a, a, a MEF LSO API, possibly. Uh, but we haven't heard from the cloud providers yet, so yeah. we'll see how that goes. Yeah, and that's exactly how the conversation went on that panel, um, and Sterling also asked if is MEF best suited to do this, and yeah. the thoughts were, you know, they're in a very good place. They're, of course, not the only um, standard organization out there, but, um, right. you know, it seems like they're, um, having the standards around carrier ethernet as well and their work on the APIs and then um, also with standards around SD-WAN places them pretty well um, to lead the charge, so to speak. And it turns out they're buying lunch, so we should go have some. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thanks, Kelsey. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. Hope you put that in the Do as many room. as you can, yeah. <laughs>